Ho ho, my hearties. A very good evening to you. We're just waiting for everything to fire up. And then we are absolutely with you, big style. How amazing is that? Tremendous stuff. Right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Saturday evening. It's the internet phone in. It's just gone nine o'clock. And a very warm welcome to every single one of you. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. How amazing is that? Now, you should have had your notifications. And you should also have had a little promo on the YouTube channel to tell you that Scotty McClue was going live. What an amazing week it's been this week. And we've uploaded lots of new videos for you. And we'll talk about that as the evening goes on. Thank you, do. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, says Ali. Good evening, Ali. Kamrahau Maha. Lovely to have you with us. Well, hello there, says Potter Potts. Thank you, do. Ireland had a great win against England. Yes, they did, Damien. Incredible stuff. Hi, Scotty. How are you, says Susan. Thank you, do, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to everybody. Just amazing. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing, sir? Chewy. Fantastic. Love all your wee bits of chat, by the way. Thank you, do, Scotty, says Fiona. Fiona. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty, buddy, says Martin. Martin and Emma. Hi, Karim. Says Susan Karim has joined us. The wonderful Gordon Roddy is with us. Good evening, Scotty, and good evening to you, Gordon. Tremendous stuff. Uh, hello, Scotty. Hope everyone's well. Hope you are all well. Thank you, Karim. We hope that you're well and you're going to come on and give us some of your quality chat tonight. Think you do, Scotty. Think you do. Email one says evening hashtag float eye, all uppercase. First Lord of the Internet. Right, let's open the lines. Uh, lots of things for discussing tonight. We don't discuss the pandemic. We can touch on uh, the Ukraine and Russia, but let's not take the whole program up with it, of course, because there's lots of new TikToks existing and new YouTube videos for you on that. Hope you keep it well, Captain. Indeed, George. Dinky-doo and fantastic. Can you sing? Oh, I can sing like a linty can. I worked with an opera company for four years. Now, there we have it. Right. Let's see if we can get the uh, phones working and we can hear from you. That's what it's all about. Okay. So that should be the phones up now. So see if you can give us a call. Fantastic. Hello, you're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you. Uh, can, oh, hang on. We've got two of you. Um, Martin, can you hang up and we'll come back to you? There we are. I think that's Martin. Are you there, Kareem? I am. Hi, Scotty. How are we doing? <laughs> Fantastic. We must have got two at the one time. Incredible. Hi. Just one click technology is amazing. Yes. One click and we ended up with the two. Scotty, have a good week. There's Kendo. Go on, sing us a bit of Michael Jackson. Kendo, you know we can't sing on here for copyright reasons. There we are. We've had a great week, Karim. Fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. Um, well, Scotty, what I wanted to do was to speak very briefly. Um, it was during the week. There was a post that came up about the... Um, it was a leader of the SNP down at Westminster. Yes. Um, and he came out and said that in an independent Scotland, the monarchy will be going nowhere. Excellent. And that's from the that's from the horse's mouth. That yes. There's no question that the monarchy will be going anywhere. It's staying. And because if the monarchy to... was going anywhere, then independence would be going nowhere. Well, I, I put comments because a lot of people were against it. And I said that, well, you're going to lose 50% of the vote. Yes. I said that within Scotland, the houses of residents that are up here, it contributes to the local economy. It's going to boost tourism. Uh, there's so much that more potential for when we're in an independent country. But then a lot of people that came on, messaging back to that where the ones are the money grabbers the this the that I now you I see this is the ignorance Kareem you're up against yeah. massive massive ignorance uh, Chris well, Grant's uh, just sent me 40 TikToks is that not beautiful fantastic yes Scotty 
I attached your video explaining about the importance of the monarchy and people still just shrug that off and I just think, well, I'm not going to, I nope. explained it and nope. I was just very clear, if you are independence, you leave the monarchy alone. Yep. If you're happy being part of Westminster rule, Tory policies and austerity, then by all means, keep banging on about getting rid of the monarchy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're quite right. I mean, Her Majesty the Queen is head of state. It was all decided when Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. And uh, totally unconnected. The only thing that might be swaying them was uh, one of the kings then at the Union decided to say that he was king of Britain. Uh, but you see, right. there's no such country as Britain. You know, Britain is just a big landmass. It's the big bit. It's called Great Britain because it's the big bit of the landmass. Right. You know? I had that someone made a comment about uh, the Queen that when she passes on, now, I, didn't, I, I forgot to Google this, but they said that once the Queen passes on, Charles... Uh, will have nothing really to do with Australia. I wasn't too sure on that at all. Yes, that's a bit strange. Australia's been behaving very weirdly for a, a country of freedom. Uh, uh -huh. Apparently, uh, you know, bringing in concentration camps and things like that. You know, very, uh -huh. very strange for Australia. I don't quite know what's going on there, but uh, yeah. but we'll we'll see what happens. There's no doubt. You see, when I was in school, Kareem. Uh, we had old maps in geography because they were perfectly serviceable, uh, you know, and this would be the early 60s, and the maps were still covered in red because they used to say the sun never set on the British Empire. So somewhere in the world was sunrise. The sun was shining, and the map was covered in red, so you had Canada, you had, um, you would have had America until 1776. You had Ireland, you had uh, Australia, you had New Zealand, you had a good whack of Africa, you had India, all of India were all marked in red. Uh, China, Hong Kong, yeah. Uh, so they were all marked in red because they were part of the British Empire, Malaya, Burma etc etc most of the middle east you see because uh, because the british had um, had occupied egypt and all that sort of stuff there's talk i was reading about that this is in the plans and it's in the pipeline that with australia new zealand and canada and the uk is going to join as one special type of union uh, I've forgotten the actual name, but it is in the pipelines where uh -huh. it's basically like a mini, a mini EU, let's just say that, um, and where uh -huh. they'll have to be sharing a lot more information, armies, uh, intelligence, etc. Um, and I think that, um, that it was quite interesting to read into. I don't know too much about it, but if, if you get a chance to read about it, Scotty, and any of the listeners, the callers... I will, because quite... what they're wanting to do at the moment is redesign the world. I mean, coming out of Europe was a massive mistake for the UK. So the UK yes. is now searching about for pals and for trade deals and things like that. So it needs yes. to be part of another group. You see, Churchill, what people didn't realise, Churchill which most of your right-wingers absolutely worshipped. And yeah. Churchill wanted a united Europe with the UK at its heart and a yeah. single UK, a single EU army. Yes, it wouldn't be the EU then, a European army with a single commander. I think he was thinking about himself at the time. Yeah, so because so, he was always thinking about himself, old Winnie. So um, you've got that there. Now, um, he also, and they wouldn't back him, wanted to press on and take Russia because he wanted to get rid of uh, the Bolsheviks. And yeah. that would have been quite a thing. And he probably could have managed it with the right backing with America at the time. So American Europe. So Europe would have extended right into Russia and you wouldn't have had the problem we've got today. Correct. Okay. Yes. You know, because because Russia would have been part of NATO, really. 
Yes, yes because the North Atlantic the Treaty Organization was set up in 1948 following the Second World War. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, I just wanted to put that on earlier on about the Brilliant. royal family. No, they're all family. I mean, you'll always get half-witted idiots that don't mm -hmm. understand. They see the props and they think, oh, they're money grabbers and all the rest of it. Nothing to do with the crown which is our symbol of authority. And they are yeah. first and foremost, the curator, Her Majesty is the curator and custodian of our symbol of authority. Yeah. yeah. I, I think there's jealousy because at the end of the day, um, they see these people and all the people that are associated with the royal family. And I know there's a lot of poverty within society, but people, the royal family are entitled to what but they have, they are royalty after all. Can you imagine people complaining back in the olden days to the kind that's that the next thing? Oh, they just have been immediately beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it is what it is, like it or lump it, that's it, but get on with it and stop complaining. I think, I don't know if I told you this, but my, my father's Moroccan, and I remember years ago, when I was 40 now, but when I was... 14 or 16, I went to Casablanca, where my dad was brought up. Yep. And at the beach, there is one of the largest mosques you can have ever, it's huge, and you can see it for miles. But every, by instruction by the King of Morocco at the time, Scotty, everybody had to pay extra money towards building this mosque. It came out, it came out, it didn't matter who you were, disabled, benefits, whatever, everybody in the country. And that was instruction by the king. And could you imagine if something like that happened here, there would be an absolute uproar. Yeah. It just shows you the difference and people pay that. And it just shows you the different attitudes that people have towards royalty, uh, royal families throughout the... Well, up the until recently, the people of the United Kingdom have, have enjoyed a fair bit of freedom. I think a yeah. lot of it's being curbed at the moment, but that will change. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. 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 Well, listen, Scotty, thanks for taking my call. Um, and it's been great. I just want to get off my chest or something. Yeah. Night, You're I'm quite right. I'll tell you, I'll give you a nice touch here just to finish on. This one of the senior generals of the British Army was Sir Claude Ochenleck, who had been the governor of the Punjab. He was known uh -huh. as the Auk. And uh, uh -huh. he retired to Morocco. And uh, in his 90s, he couldn't really be bothered shaving. He loved going down to the wee cafe for a coffee and things like that. And he was known as Monsieur le Général uh, to all the locals. And um, the Queen uh, asked for a meeting with, uh, with Sir Claude Auchinleck. And he said if she wouldn't mind, he would rather not because he couldn't really be bothered shaving. <laughs> and he didn't want her to see him unshaving. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that interesting? Uh, it's really Wonderful good. man, Sir Claude Auchinleck, the Orc. Now for three weeks, so hopefully they're having a great time over there, Scotty. You take great care of your dear self, Kareem, and dinky do, sir. Thanks, my, uh, take my call, Scotty. Thanks for a fabulous call. ta -da -da. There we are. Oh. That's our Kareem. Absolutely brilliant. Now, didn't a high-ranking German officer secretly fly to GB for toxic crash land? Rocky Toddy. You're talking about Hitler's deputy, Rudolf Hess. Who's this? You're live in Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hi, it's Scotty's Glenn. Glenn Dinky Do, how are we? Dinky Do, Sky. Yes. Uh, I've got a bit of a delicate matter to talk about, Scotty, actually. Yeah, go on. Um, do you know much about housing disrepair? Do I know about? You know, housing, when. This repairs going off within councils. I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, Glenn. Do you know that like, properties in bad conditions? All right, yes, absolutely, yeah. Well, I've got a dispute going on with my council on born living in under Commons here, and uh, it's been going on for the last two years in court, right? You know, with one of these independent solicitors on offline. Listen, Glenn, I wouldn't be able to comment on an individual case in public. Uh, Scotty, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. As, I'm not going to mention any names mm. or anything. I'm just saying 
is it in the best interest of the tenant if they are living in bad conditions to take the council to court if they're not going to do anything to repair these problems? Uh, the only problem is you would have to check what your position is with the council legally because what yeah. you don't want to be doing, Glenn, is shelling out very hard-earned money that you probably yeah. don't have for a fight right. with the council uh, when you don't know if you're in the right or if you're not. So it's no not a question of being in the wrong, it's just knowing if in you're a, the right or you're not. A, living in a time where you're living in awful conditions. Yeah, well, nobody I should don't. have to live in awful conditions. I'm not so, going to be the one who's in the wrong, am I? No, well, something has to be done about it, but you need I to see. Listen. No, no, well, you're saying, you're saying you're not going to be the one that's in the wrong. It's not a question yeah. of being in the wrong, Glenn. You need right. to listen to what I'm saying to you. This is so important. It's a question of, do you have the law on your side? Do you see what I'm saying? So the difference is, is the law in it? When you say, should I get a solicitor and fight the council? If there's yeah. law in it and the law is on your side, then yeah. that's a different thing. If the yeah. law's not on your side, now, a yeah. lot of solicitors will give you a free consultation first right. off. So if you can find, if you've got law on your side, then yeah. it's up to you to consider taking action. I have took action, those guys, that's just it. Yeah, well, well, no, that's okay. fine. But I mean, you can, you can decide on the action. But do you know if the law is on your side? It's one of these no win no fee situations guy right okay that's not so okay. bad and did they tell you the law was on your side well they've sent us a, they've basically sent us a fair uh, representing these solicitors right right and the council have sent their own solicitors uh, so out, you know to see it from both sides right well that's sounding actually quite positive because yeah, yeah. Uh, you know if you're paying rent for a council property, and the property yeah. is substandard, something's right. not right. And they've got all the findings. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the claimant, obviously, and against the defendant, which is the council. Yes. I just it's didn't clear. want you spending all your hard-earned cash on something that might definitely have a negative outcome yeah, for you. Not. I mean, as this repairs go, You'd think the council would do it before people moved in, would you? Well, yes, absolutely. They should have, and especially the yeah. fact that you've got a little one there. You don't want anything substandard. You don't want any damp. Yeah. You don't want dodgy it's wiring. Not, anything like that. It's damp and mold. Yeah, well, you see, that's not healthy for anyone because yeah. in mold there are spores. Correct. You know? So yeah, yeah, so yeah, so press on with that, Glenn. But as Scotty, long as you're why, not shelling out, Scotty, why does the councils rent these inadequate properties out then in these? Well, the only there? thing is there's a squeeze on accommodation, and the more yeah. people that come into the country are willing to put up with anything that will accommodate them. So if somebody yeah. said, "Listen, we don't have any properties, Mister McQuackle." Right, yeah. and you said, Oh, but we are starving, we're out, we've got to get out, we're in a right mess. Right, I'll tell you what we have got a house has come up now, it's not brilliant, yeah. but it's a house, so well, some yeah. people are willing to put up with substandard, but it's you know, it's it's impossible for some yeah. councils to get round everything. But you know what the problem is, Oscar. You view the property, and yeah? you don't realize what the property is like until you live there. Well, that's always the case because somebody might have tarted it up with a bit of emotion. Exactly. You see? I mean, and then it comes through again. But a property has to be dry at the bottom and dry at the top. Rising damp. As yeah. soon as one of the surveyors came out to survey the property, a couple of years into me living there, they spotted the, the problem a mile off. You know, with all the temperature and test, testing everything out. Of course, of course, and because they know what they're looking for, and when they point it out to when, you, you then think, "Aha! I see what they mean." I signed the tenancy, so I'm I'm stuck until I find an alternative property. I know, so well, maybe they'll have to get you alternative property. Well, you know, 
we've took it to court and uh, with this independent solicitor's right and uh, we're about a month away from it going to court anyway. Right, well, we won't be able to talk about it when it's in the court, but, yeah. um, you know, it's 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 quite interesting what's going to, uh, you know, to see what will happen. Do you think I've got a good case then? Well, I don't know because I don't know the ins and outs of the case, so I can't comment on it. That's what I said yeah. to you at the start. I can't comment because yeah. I don't have the case in front of me, and no, I'm not yeah. a solicitor anyway. I can't put you in that position anyway, Scotty. I'm just, I'm just speaking to you in confidence. Kind no, of listen, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. yeah. But onwards and upwards, in it. I mean, onwards and upwards. I send you, I send you best wishes and strength, Scotty. I mean. I've got, I'm in process of moving to another property anyway, so it's... Right, right. So it might actually become immaterial in the long run. Exactly, but there's nothing wrong with having a, having a go is the kind of thing. Well, you've got, you've got to story. have a go. You've got to look after your interests, love. I'm going to have Scotty, to dash. You take great care week, of you. Scotty, has, has your weekend been that? My weekend's been absolutely outstanding. Very, very busy. You'll notice I was what? cutting it fine tonight. What do you reckon to seasons change and then summer, uh, what is it, spring next? What's that for the clocks changing? Uh, what do we have? Is it spring after winter? Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. We get the spring yeah. and we're into spring yeah, already. And, summer. and what they used to say, Glenn, March comes yeah. in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Oh, brilliant. What about that? I'm going to have to dash. Love you lots. No worries. Love you, Scotty. Thank you, do, La La. Good luck away. with all that. Fantastic. Ooh. That's our Glenn. Uh, give us a call as soon as you can, guys. Lots to talk about tonight. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Chris Grant, for all these beautiful TikToks. Thank you, do, Scotty McClue. Uh, Tudor, lovely to have you with us. Bobby says, evening, Scotty. Howdy, top man, Scotty. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Phil Boy is in Springburn. Lovely to have you with us, Phil Boy. Thank you. I have 2,000 likes on TikTok. How good is that? Good evening. You're on Scotty's phone in. You're live. Who's that? Hello, Martin. Martin, now listen, I want to thank you. And I want to thank you for hanging up at the start because for some reason we've got a cross line. Yes, so I want to thank you. Okay, that's fine, Scotty. How about that? Yes, that, that's the same thing, buddy. <laughs> How are you, Scotty? Good? I am absolutely outstandingly good, and I love this show. Same, same. You know, it is so popular. Uh -huh. So you're very, so you're very, very good in TikTok. I watch you every day. Are you enjoying all the TikToks? They're they're just yeah. outstanding. I mean, these people are amazing. I know, I know. Plus, plus, plus is all the all the half edits as well. Oh, you get the half wits. You always get the half wits, Martin. That's reflective of society. Oh, uh, I know. You see. So um, I've done. Um, I'm still on three hundred seventy-two. I've seen the high road now, but there's no more. But well, I've so. been. You've you've put me in the mood. I've been watching a bit of Take the High Road when I get time as well. Uh, it's, well my favourite character is Dougal, and he's very funny. He's <laughs> wonderful. Alec Monteith. Alec was a television announcer. Uh -huh. And I think he was a television announcer with Scottish television, as I was, and the BBC. Yes. You know, very, very good. And then when Take the High Road started, he took the part of Dougal and never looked back. Well, it, yes, it's very strange, although I, I think we have to be very careful about propaganda coming out of Russia and Ukraine. I mean, today oh. we saw a load of dead bodies, ostensibly, dead in quotation marks, 160 of them, all covered in blankets. And then we saw one of the blankets moving and somebody was lying under adjusting the blanket. <laughs> so it was obviously a setup. Yeah. And things like that, we're going to have to be very careful of, Martin. Yes. You see, because the first casualty of any war is the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And yeah. that, sadly, is what happens. 
So I'd, all I would say is just a pinch of salt. Yes. Uh, and um, how's your week been? Has your week been really, really good this, this week, Harry? Yeah, my week's been amazing. I mean, while well, you've seen it all on TikTok, there's the wonderful yes. Chris Grant. No problem, yes. Scotty. You certainly make my Saturday night. I'm waiting for a serious operation. Isn't that lovely? And he sent me all these TikToks. It's not lovely. He's waiting for an operation. But it's lovely that he's taken the time to comment. I sent 980 likes on your TikTok. Wow. I wondered why it was so huge. And tonight I've got 2,000. Yes. Yes. Pretty good, Martin. Wonderful. How's Emma doing? Emma's doing very well, and I'm, and I'm still in the middle of looking for another property because the house we're in is not good for all the health because Emma's, because Emma's with bad knees. Right. And um, well, Emma's got a pep assessment, but she's quite nervous about that as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless her. Well, we, we, we send love and blessings to you both, and we will catch up soon. Yes, I'll um, touch you hopefully through the weekend, through the when you up when you do your you are a top man martin thanks very much lots of love la love you too lala love you too lala dinky do dinky do dinky too top man that's our martin what an amazing guy fantastic stuff now how are things doing here uh we've got lots and lots of brilliant people on here's some dafty scott lad are you a Tory? I am a political Scott lad. Everybody knows that. Why on earth would you think I'm a Tory? There we go. Brother Scotty, how art thou? Didn't you do Scottish Eddie boy? How lovely to have you with us. What a strange question to ask somebody what their politics are. Follow us as soon as you can. Didn't you do? Uh, lots of good people coming on. Thank you for the likes, Captain Bruce. Thank you to you, Captain Brucey. Guys, get sharing. Share and share and share. So much to talk about. So little time to do it in. If you want to give us a call, the number is across the bottom of the screen on the YouTube channel. If you're watching on TikTok, get on to the YouTube channel. Scott Lad says, first time I've ever seen you. So you've seen me for the first time and you're going, are you a Tory? Is that what you ask people when you meet them? Scotty, what's your thoughts on the energy bills going up? I think, Scottish Eddie boy, it's disgusting and it's based on greed. Total and utter greed. Never mind the cost of energy. This is sheer greed. We live in Scotland. 45% of our gas comes from Scotland. We should be getting it almost free. But there we are. Just the administration fee plus a normal price. So I'm I'm not impressed with the energy bills going up. I'm not impressed with all this worldwide price of gas, all that sort of stuff. It could be well sorted. Do you mind if I ask if you're pro-independence? Well, I'm apolitical, so I don't get into the political side, but I think Scotland could do very well economically free of Westminster, which has never, ever, ever understood Scotland and for 313 years has treated it as a cash cow. There we are. Thank you, Mr. Martin has entered the building. Hope that man gets good result with his house. I grew up in council high-rise flat. That's serious dampness and condensation. It's condemned property. It's a disgrace. Anthony Mac, thank you, do. There we are. Hope you're well, Scotty McClue. Hello, Scotty McClue. That's so true, Scotty. Scotty, my heart goes out to pensioners who only get a state pension. Me as well, Scottish Eddie boy, because the state pension is very, very poor. I think, is it something like about eight or nine grand a year? You know, I mean, how do you get by on that when they're shoving up at the cost of everything out of sheer greed? England could do with being free from Westminster. Aidan, I think that's true. I think a lot of places could do with being free from Westminster. Perhaps we should go back to local politics. <laughs> but how would that fit with the global agenda trying to make us all the same? One world politics, one world government, one world bank. Uh, so there you have it. So I hope that's a good answer. I don't mind anybody asking anything. 
I just thought it was a very strange thing for somebody who's arrived for the first time to go, are you a Tory? As if that's got anything to do with anything. Now, uh, what have we got here? Lots and lots of you joining us. Thank you so much, Scotty. My mum and dad have worked all their days. They're OAPs now, and they have to pay for dental treatment. It's ridiculous. Scotty Jetty boy, are you sure they're on the right deal? Are you sure they haven't gone to a private dentist? Kenny says, are you for the SNP? Well, Kenny, I've just told you, I'm apolitical, so I don't support any particular political party. There we are. Hello, Scotty McClue, Dinky Do. Users just joined us. Fantastic. Happy to be governed from Brussels. Maybe not popular with some. Well, Aidan, uh, the people that took us out of Europe were just ignoramuses. And remember, there was only a tiny, tiny amount dictating. <coughs> I can't remember. I think was it was six million people um, actually voted, and two million of them, two and a half million, were dictating that 70 million lose their EU citizenship. Shocking nonsense. That certainly was not democracy. So the halfwits that go, oh, so you don't believe in democracy, they get it wrong. <coughs> and remember, we were lied to and misled. <coughs> Scotty, tell me more. It is a private dentist, but would they not have to pay with an NHS dentist? <coughs> well, it depends where they live. Do they live in Scotland, Eddie? I think with an NH dentist, they should get free treatment or uh, very much reduced. Happy to be free from undemocratic Brussels. Well, Angela, you're now with undemocratic Westminster, aren't you? Uh, Europe only came up with directives, which were suggestions, not laws. Absolutely, Aidan. Yes, indeed. I mean, the person that says they're happy to be free. Are you enjoying the high prices and the empty shelves in the shops? Are you enjoying the very high price of your energy bills? Are you enjoying paying a fortune to fill your car up at the pump? You know, if you're loving that, are you enjoying that 250 billion pounds of your money to date has gone down the swanee for nothing? If you like all that, then I, I like the fact you're happy, as happy as a pig in its own. We are in new market, Scotty. Ah, so your parents are in new market. Might be different. I don't know the setup in England, Eddie. Uh, I'm enjoying pizza right now. Baker Bros, I'm delighted to hear that. Hi from Italy, Signor. Si, bella, bellissimo. So lovely to have you with us. Uh, the wages are not covering at all either. No joy. They won't be. iPhones should be cheaper. I think they're taking the mickey out of us all. Well, get an Android. I hope your contributor basks in the patriotism and sovereignty. Absolutely, Aiden. There we go. We don't mind a bit of patriotism and sovereignty, but uh, our sovereignty was never in question. All this we want our country back was purely just a slogan. It had been nowhere. The energy bills due to Britain being less self-sufficient than ever. 45% of our energy coming from Scotland. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? David, how are you now? Lovely to hear I'm, from you. I'm not bad. I'm not sure I was weekend. We were in bed. Oh, and David, are you keeping okay? I am. I was just a wee bit shattered, Scotty, run down because of certain issues. You know, uh -huh. I, I understand you've got your own pressures. I was catching up on your last show last night uh, before you came on tonight. Uh -huh. uh, and I don't think, of course, um, oh, what's wrong with me? I forget his name. The, there is only a COVID or a dear Mr. Karim, 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 yeah, you got a reaction to it. You've got to be careful, David, especially with your breathing yeah. setup. Oh, yeah. But anyway, right, so what can I talk about? Right, so 
Where's your wife to battle with Putin? Yes, Mr. Mr. Putin. Right, so, it's a bit tricky. You have to go and spy. He's evil. Can I say that? Well, no, you can't, you can't say that. But you see, we're getting mixed messages coming out. I told you earlier about the 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 picture of the so-called dead people and one of them was adjusting his blanket oh. you know so that was a setup yeah, yeah, yeah. so we need to watch what we're seeing and also i've been noticing on the tiktoks people sending pictures out of like disaster movies and saying that this is what's happening in the ukraine and then when you see the two pictures together you think that's out of a disaster movie Yes, yes, so you're getting that all the time. And you see, um, obviously, there's uh, there's two sides to the story. There's a big picture going on here. It's quite weird. I mean, as you know, he's, he's talking all the way in the show. Yes, yes. Well, that's, that. this has gone about the whole thing the wrong way. <laughs> it should have had discussions. It should have had discussions with the West. Well, there isn't a point, really. What he's trying to say is we don't want the West going any further into Russia. <laughs> yes, and they that, and they also took out uh, Colonel Gaddafi. He's on. Yes, absolutely. Well, the family are apparently in a bunker. Oh, well, let me go because, okay, I'm not going to talk about it. No, we're not going to all that because, listen, it's it's covered. David, David, one of the joys of Scotty McClure's internet phone in it, is, is that we. We don't cover all the stuff that's covered by the mainstream media. Now, when you oh, put your telly on, you were getting I, depression, you were getting COVID, you were get, now yeah, you're getting oh, the war. Yeah, and I yeah. think we need a discussion program which is much lighter hearted. Yeah, you see, there's a guy saying that NATO should never have rattled Putin's cage. There used to be a saying, don't poke the bear. And the bear was known as the Russian bear. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not Scotland, it's the UK. You know, the nukes that are in Scotland are under the UK. So the ones with nukes are the UK and uh -huh. uh, America and uh -huh. also uh, there's there's many more. Russia's got them, obviously, and China's got uh -huh. them, and there's one or two others. China 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 could also China's also in the hand. You know, do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, well yeah, well China could be within within, but I think China are saying Cam Dune big man. That's it. Well, I'm remarkable, David. I'll tell you, I love the way both the YouTube channel and the TikTok channel and the Facebook channel are all growing. Now they're not they're not growing at an alarmingly excitable rate, but they are growing. You know, and I think, but I still believe if you keep putting out quality, people will gather. Yes, I was I was dancing the night away at the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders Ball in the Great Hall at Stirling Castle. Right, join from Stirling, hold on me second, join us, Scotty. Scotty, can you find you dancing on YouTube? No, you'll not get it on YouTube. Right, there's, there's Hello, John. Hello, John. How are you doing, my boy? Yeah, we're great. David says you're a sterling man. I, I was born and brought up in Sydney, you know, 
man you saw it. I know very, very well indeed, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I was born and brought up in uh, Coltonhoff Place. Right, and oh, you'll remember I yeah, set up your radio station, Central FM. Right, and before that slide, you remember it, it was Centre Sound. Centre Sound Radio, that's the one, that was right. I'm going back to what, mid, uh, early 90s, I think, late Yes, yes, I stood yeah. up on the battlements at Stirling uh, Castle overlooking the town and overlooking the Fourth beautiful. Valley, beautiful, yeah. and I asked myself, can you yeah. do it? And I, yeah. I, I told myself, yes, you can. Yes, and that was yeah. and that was what we did and it's still yeah. going and it's going I strong yeah. 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 you know it. and and then i remember yeah. dancing the night yeah. away at the argyll and sutherland highlanders ball in the great hall yeah, of the castle. Yeah. yes yeah. and we did all these yeah. great scottish dances the duke of perth yeah. hamilton oh, house oh, petronella oh, you know yep yeah. yep yeah. 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 they uh, stripped the willow Yep, and we had the pipes playing and all sorts of things. It was fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, when I when I think back to these times, I must be one of the luckiest men on God's earth. Well, well, Scotty, I think we're all lucky to be alive, aren't we? We're you know, aren't we, it's true. I mean, I think I think we've all had, um, you know, high spots in our lives and tough yeah, times. Absolutely. Tough yeah. times, you know. Absolutely, Scotty. And it's how you handle the tough times. That's it. Scotty, that's exactly it. How you get through it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. What you Scotty, is the love of a good, uh, a good family. Do you know what I mean? Or a partner or whatever else. Absolutely. Somebody that's in the world, John, that approves yeah. of you. Absolutely. That's really, that's really what love is. It's another person who genuinely 100% yeah. approves of you. Absolutely. And someone's got you, I think, you know, knows the, the worst side of you and they're okay with that. Yep. That's what you know somebody's, you know what I mean? Absolutely. They're saying that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love the couples that, that you know, they try uh, to draw you in a bit. They go, hey, Scotty, yeah. don't start him, by the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, Scotty, can I ask you, do you prefer radio or television? Uh, well, you see, I, I love them both on their merits. Radio is by far the senior service. It's by far the superior because it's the theatre of the mind. And when you're talking, oh, the old wireless, yes. And what the newspapers used to say was Scotty McClure had brought back the occasions when people sat round their wireless. You see? And they hadn't done that since the days of the BBC's The McFlannels. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good thing on your morning, Scotty, isn't it? So it was. I, I really was quite chuffed with that. And they said Scotty McClure was responsible for keeping radio listening going. Well, there you are, Scotty. How does that, how does that suit your sound? That, that's amazing. Now, television is a different technique. And, and I think, had that they yeah. backed it, I mean, I used to go on the BBC quite regularly with comedy stuff, and had they backed it, it would have been huge. Now, Scotty, do you remember um, Trial by Night with yes. Bernard Ponsonby? Yes, I do. I was on it. Yes. I was on Trial by Night. Yes. I don't think it was. I don't think the one I was on was Bernard. I'm sure it was Trial by Night. Or maybe okay. it was trial by jury. I can't remember, but okay. it was, it was something we did, and it was Scottish television. I have a great respect for Bernard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a great, he's a great, um, you know, music, not not a music, a reporter, whatever he calls himself. He's really great, and he's been there at STV for I don't know, thirty, forty years on and off. Well, I don't. Well, it might. I don't know. It might be. I mean, it's it's I, incredible. I mean, I, I mean, I, wait till I tell you. Uh, uh -huh. Since I was on STV, yeah. it's probably a good thirty years. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Although I, I, I did, I did some night shifts, you know. And do you remember also saw a shortwave, medium wave, and long wave frequencies? Yes, yes. Back in the day, you know, we just had shortwave, long wave, or you know, <laughs> medium wave on the radio. It was wonderful. I mean, I loved. I used to buy radios uh -huh. at jumble sales for ten uh -huh. shillings. Uh -huh. 
you, you know, the no, jumble I, sale. I can remember the scouts coming round to my house and they said, do you have any jumble? I said, I've got stacks of it, but I need it to sit on. That's fantastic. And do you remember also, Scotty, the scout man coming around the streets? Yes, like yeah, he, used, he used to say, Way! Way! Oh. That's right, aye. Now, am I not right in thinking that Falun, like mm -hmm. Throsk and all that, there were mining villages? Yes, you're right, Scotty. Yes. Um, for me, my dad stays in Falun, so is he. Yes. Um, and Cowie. Yeah, Cowie, yeah. Cowie was another one, yeah. And Throsk. Yeah, Ross, uh, that's right. But going back to Fallon, my dad stayed there right since day. Magari, Magari stayed there. Hey, my dad's, my dad's mom, Jenny, and he's, they, they stayed just behind the, 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 the colliery. Oh, sorry, Paul Mays colliery. Paul, right, Paul, Paul, Paul Mays. I can remember Paul poor Paul Mays, Mays yeah. closing and it ruined yeah. the area. Absolutely. Now, what I was going to say, um, what I was going to say uh, to you, uh, uh -huh. were your family in mining? Mm, I think my dad was, well, my grand, I'm not sure, Scott, I'm not sure. Right. Was but that was a thick side of it. I think he may have been in mining when he was younger. I'm yes. Granddad. Yep, absolutely. I've got but some I'm great sure people on I'm here, every, John. Every, every family back then, where there was somebody, for you, somebody who was in coal mining, you know what I mean? Oh, Scotland, old. listen, Scotland was absolutely peppered with mining. Do you know absolutely. that Britain yeah. used to supply 75% uh -huh. of the world's coal? Wow, really, Scotty? Up until the end of the First World War and the Treaty of Versailles in 1919 uh -huh. was mm -hmm. so punitive to Germany, uh -huh. they wanted to punish Germany. But action uh, equals reaction. They said to Germany, another thing you can give us is cheap uh, coal. And that took right. the bottom out of the British coal market. Okay. Yeah, I've got that as well. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So they actually yeah. were housed by their own pet heart, the uh, British government. Uh, yeah. So where, where, are you from? where do you, where are you from? Where is your, your childhood lay in your, your younger years? Greenock. Greenock on the Clyde. Uh, Lovely part of the world. Right, well, John, I'll tell you, run through my TikTok videos and you'll get one on Port Glasgow. Right, and I strongly suggest you do because it was a cracker. And the, and the folks, I posted it up on a, a Port Glasgow website and the folks were chuffed. John, I'm going to have to dash. Lovely to hear you. Top man. Love you guys. Thank you, dude. There's our John. Fantastic. Greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. Hello from France, says Nino. Thank you, Nino. Uh, what do you think of the electric revolution? Well, it'll have to go some. Uh, they say that that's why the oil prices are so high. I'm a newbie to the McClue crew. Dinky do. Nice to meet you. Absolutely, Tudor. Lovely to meet you and Dinky Do. Joe Glasgow rings a bell. So there we are, Dinky Do. Me too, since Century 105 in the early 90s. Have you never been on RT, Scotty? No, I've never been on RT and I've never been invited to go on RT. And it's highly unlikely I would be now. So there we are. Chris, thank you for sending me. A football, you're a very, very kind man. Absolutely amazing. Now, how are we getting on here? This is incredible. Scotty, I wonder how many meters will be getting fiddled because of the price of Lecky. Well, Eddie, fiddling a meter is not only an offense, it's a very dangerous thing to do. There we are. Falin is a one-horse town. Well, so is Cowie, so is Throsk, you know? I mean, there's lots of places are one horse town. That doesn't make them bad places, I say. Now, who have we got here? Hang on a minute. I need to have just a quick mop down. Oh, this studio is absolutely roasting tonight. There we are. Uh, what have we got here? Just 
don't just look for a woman to love, look for a woman that loves you, says Mr. Martin. There we are. This is fantastic. I'm just running through some of the feedback here. Um, Dinky Doo Scotty says, the lovely Lily Patterson. Dinky Doo to you, Lily. God bless you. Scotty, you need a new camera. I've seen you looking better. Well, Mr. Martin, you know, uh, we're saving for a new camera. So if you're feeling flush, you could tap the dollar at the bottom left. If there were no soldiers, there would be no wars. What do you think, Scotty? Well, no, not true, Lily, because the first duty of a soldier is to obey. The next duty of a soldier is as a keeper of the peace. So a soldier's actual function is peacekeeping. And a senior officer or an officer in the army would study peace studies. There we are. It's only when the politicians can't cope and they order the military in. There we are. It costs six grand. You can get batteries to harvest electric for your home on the economy tariff to run your house. It costs six grand, says Joey. There we are. I agree if you said Bevan. There we are. Yes, Ernie Bevan, the Bevan boys. There we are. Grossly, grossly undervalued. Fantastic. So who have we got here? It's been good, Scotty. Are you enjoying it, Martin? Thank you for that. Martin and Emma, love you. Yes, and we love Martin and Emma. How dinky-do is that? Fantastic. Now, we've only got about another eight minutes, guys. So let's use it well and wisely. The lines are still open if you want a quick call. There we go. Scotty, uh, I said to my doctor, I broke my arm in three places. He said, well, don't go to these places again. <laughs> I love that, Eddie boy. My ancestors were Scottish guardsmen and a priest to Anne Boleyn. Wow, Moose, that is big. Anne Boleyn, poor old Anne Boleyn. A very tough time with that Henry VIII. He would have been done now for domestic abuse, and he would have been put in the slammer himself, I say to you. And dear knows what King William would have been done for. There you are, six grand. You can write that off in your taxes. Chris, you will need to be paying some amount of tax before you can write off six grand. Some people are only earning six grand. Hod your wish, says Scottish Eddie boy to whoever's slaggy as James Knox, says Moose. I think you'll find it was John Knox Moose. But maybe James was, I don't know if he was a re relation. Scotty, thanks for the chat. It's been a great call. Thanks for the advice. As best you could. Yes, Glenn. I mean, I don't have the facts in front of me. And also, I cannot comment on individual cases. Uh, there we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, lots of chat coming on. This is wonderful. Uh, there's a moose loose about this hoose. Absolutely, Scotty Eddie boy. Scotty McClue's theme tune for many, many years. How good was that? Lol, Scotty, says Scotty Eddie boy. Chris Mike. You're being so generous. Thank you for my mini speaker. It is very, very much appreciated. All you TikTokers are beautiful to Scotty McClure. Do you know, I've got 3,100 likes. Have you all followed me, though? I need, uh, I need to get about, could 100 of you follow me right now? Dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. Think you do, Scotty. Think you do, Glenn. There we are. That's what it's all about. I have to be careful I don't just read out conversations between various colors. Oh, a lovely, a lovely sip of Scottish water, Adam Zeal. Who have we got here? Scotty McClue, the voice of the nation. Scotty McClue for MP. Do you think I should become a member of Parliament, Eddie? There we are. We've been here since Scotty started this channel, Susan says Susanne. Absolutely. Very good. Susanne is fantastic. Say no more about the pine lavy seats. Absolutely. Lavy pants. Yes, indeed. The wooden lavatory seats for the Glasgow taxi drivers. Are you going back on the radio? AJ the Bairn? Hopefully we are. We're in negotiation with a couple of people right now. There we are. Scotty, can you sing the Scotty Mega Mix jingle? Glenn, no. We can't because of the copyrights. So there we are. And you see it's based on Lord Rockingham's 11. There's a moose loose about this. Hoose. 
fantastic stuff. So I can't sing it for you. Uh, that's just part of the whole thing about going live. Bring back the mumbling pants. Do you, do you remember the mumbling pants? John Knox season ticket in Ibrox. Not necessarily. I mean, you can go to Ibrox if you are any religion. So I don't think there's anything religious about Ibrox at all or about Celtic Park. And of course, as I've said, there should be no rivalry between Rangers and Celtic because they're of exactly, predominantly, exactly the same religious background. Not a problem. I miss the Scottish water. Neil O'Gormley down in uh, Bournemouth. Is that right, Neil? There we are. Bournemouth. How fantastic. In Dorset. Are you doing the squeeze box tonight? I don't know that we've got time for the squeeze box tonight. We might manage to squeeze to squeeze in. Do you see what I just did there? A quick one. Scotty, you should be working for Bojo. Are you a Bojo fan, no Gunno? Scotty, do you mind when the toilet was outside? Very much so. There we are. In fact, there was an old lady and the council knocked her door in 1960. Uh, she had a two up, two down. And she said, yes, what can I do? They said, we're from the council, love. We're going to um, give you an inside toilet. And she went, oh, no, thanks. I'm not having all that muck in the house. So that was it. So she did not want an inside levy because the old two up, two down had got the lavatory outside in the little yard. There we are, the privy, as it was called. There we are. Reunion, says Paul Stimmer. Absolutely. Culture Minister, Foreign and Home Secretary in one. Absolutely, Adam. Do you remember Isal medicated? Yes, very shiny. Very, very slippery. Okay, sweetheart, take care of yourselves. Absolutely. There we are, fantastic. Oh, that's uh, somebody talking to Suzanne. What's happening in the Queen? I haven't heard after she got COVID. She's isolating at the moment, as far as I know. A-F-I-K. There we are. That's what's going on there. Chris, thank you for your gifts. And I send you strength for the operation. Chris has just sent me a clapper board. Very, very generous, our TikTokers. Beautiful, beautiful people. Dinky do, do, dinky do, no, moom, moom. So there we are. Now, what's your thoughts on Magnus? I have no time for any of these things at all. I had no time for that man. So there we go. I don't know why people are keeping uh, his name alive. All this unrest in the Ukraine must surely scupper any ideas of Scottish independence. Why, A.G. the Bear? What has what's going on in the Ukraine got to do with Scottish independence? Where's the connection? There we are. Because in the Ukraine is independent. And Boris did say that no nation should actually um, ever have to be, I feel that it had to be under another nation. What's to that effect? Can't remember his exact saying, but it was kind of, yes, you know, if you want independence, you should be able to remain independent. They have a good website for you, Scotty. Eh? You can tune in to any radio show. Wow. How are you, young man? Hi, B. Dave. How did this morning go? Did you get a lot of extra customers coming from all over Persia? Uh, sorry, BBC. Yes, there you go. Very strange. But we'll see, Magnus. Uh, maybe it's to try and get some facts out there. Ian Charles Scott in New York City. Scotty, could you send another healing prayer from my mum, Marjorie, in Wick, who's still in agony with a fractured risk? It's working bit by bit. Could everybody please pray for Marjorie in Wick, Ian Charles Scott's mum, who has uh, fractured her wrist and we want her to be strong and well. Send all the love in the world from everywhere. Darlings, I've got to go. I love you lots. Taralas, thank you, Chris Mike, for your gifts. You're a good man. Thank you, Hi B Dave. Dinky do, and thank you for my rugby ball. Taralas. Wow. There we go. I wonder if we've actually made it. Who knows? Uh, right, my beautiful YouTubers, we're just about out of time. Thank you for yet another fantastic program. I can't thank you all enough. I hope you love it 
as much as I love presenting it. Dinky-doo!